The senior DIG in charge of the Western Province, Deshabandhu Tennakorn, senior DIG Nandana Munasingha, DIG in charge of the Nuarelia District, Chandanathu Korala, SSP Sisila Kumara Herat in charge of the Monaragala Division and ASP in charge of Mulatiwu, Nuan Kumara Sekara called on the Chief Prelate today. Senior DIG Sisila Kumar Herat spoke to the media on behalf of all the senior police officers. Lives were lost when the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic was attacked. When Jayasiri Mathera was attacked, many lives were lost. There have been many attacks across the world and many lives have been lost in these attacks. But never before has a decision like this been taken to take action against officers who were on duty on that day. This is unfair. We have no one to speak to about this. There is no law here and we are powerless. We can speak to our Mahanayaka theorists and we can speak to the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic. There is no one else to speak to. I have with me today the officer who was in charge of the Nigambo Division, Chandanathu Korala. He is now the DIG in charge of Nuarelia. He will be retiring in another three days. According to the information available, after 39 years of service, he will now be confined to his home with no job and no pension. That is the sad state of my DIG. At this last moment, we united to speak to someone about this. Change the unfair decision taken against us and if cases are being filed, stop doing that and give us a fair judgment. We did not do anything wrong. Our senior officers had received information that requested them to look into the matter. While these matters were being looked into, the attack had taken place unexpectedly. Since the government of good governance wanted to pass the blame on to someone else, they are now preparing to sack 20 to 30 police officers and throw them in jail. We are not an obstacle to any of these court proceedings. We are bound by our official duties to testify at any given time. This was an unjust decision against us and it was not given by a court. There is an attempt to unfairly file action against us in court. There is no point in speaking about this after the cases are filed. We will lose our jobs after the case is filed. We will lose our salaries. When that happens, we will not be able to even speak like this. We have not done anything wrong. We have informed them in writing but we haven't received a reply yet. There is no time for all of that. We had no other option at this time but to come and speak to the Mahanayaka Theras.
Meanwhile, media spokesperson of the Catholic Church, Reverend Father Cyril Garmini Fernando, says the present government has no intention of revealing the truth behind the April 21st attacks. Father Cyril Garmini also expressed his views on the planned demonstration to hoist black flags, demanding an independent investigation into the April 21st attacks. We bore this up for two years and we continue to make our requests but we still have not seen a proper and transparent investigation. Also, we do not see the procedure in which these suspects are produced in courts conducted openly and transparently. The responsibility of the current government is to do justice by these people. The attack occurred during the rule of the previous government. Then this government could not have any issue to investigate this matter completely and uncover the truth. That is why we can't understand why this matter is being procrastinated and why some facts of the incident are being swept under the carpet. There is no discussion at all about the recommendations of the Presidential Commission report on the April 21st attacks. No one is talking about the politicians and officials who were negligent in their duties. Nothing is being said on what action will be taken against them. This must be clarified. We have a right to know as to if action is being taken or not, how is it being implemented and who is doing it. There needs to be transparency here. The lack of transparency is the issue here. We do not feel that the government wants to honestly uncover the truth behind these attacks. Also, we do not feel that the government is pure enough in their intentions to take proper action against the politicians and officials who were negligent. That is the issue and that is why we are exerting such pressure on the authorities.